Dave Bradwell, 20 First Point. I asked last meeting, has Mr. Bettany been signed yet for the mess on Birchwood? The answer is the same. He was fined our district justice. There was no answer to last meeting, Don. You were looking in the... Don wasn't here. He was fine. We told you that. He was fine. No, you did Six not, Tommy. Let's get the minutes up then. You did not say that. Did you say that? We said there's a hearing coming up on the 29th. That was not a hearing for that. That's another hearing in front of Judge Emery. This was an ordinance hearing that he should be getting fined $1,000 a day per unit, which is in the ordinance, was the fine sent and when? He was. He was... When was it sent, Don? Or who sends it? District Justice makes that decision. No, he don't. Well, he did. He find him in court. He found him in contempt. He found him guilty. He found him in contempt, and your ordinance guy got to send the fines. I was at the hearing, Don. You just couldn't come because you're under a lawsuit. I'm tired of the straight answers. I want an answer tonight told you once the same answer he was fine there was no answer you didn't tell me that last meeting i'm going to get the minutes tomorrow i'm telling you did he tell me that elizabeth i don't remember did he say that cindy he did. He did. no he didn't he did. no he didn't andy did he say it you were the chairman give a straight answer i think there was a mention of the fine but the also what we mentioned then too is we didn't have a solicitor and i didn't want to go over anything that was legal aspect last month without having legal counsel, and I don't think Chris is prepared to talk about that yet. I don't think he's been brought up, or maybe he has, I don't know. So, um, I, I didn't want to say a whole lot about, there was a lot of things last week, last month that I didn't say things about, because we didn't have legal counsel yet. We were in the process of doing that. But an ordinance don't have nothing to do with a solicitor. If I get fined for months ago, or maybe last year, the cops were out of the guy's house for a dog. It went to the magistrate. He got fined because of your ordinance or whatever the magistrate wrote. Okay, but when the magistrate rules, the magistrate rules whether there's a fine imposed or whether there isn't a fine imposed. I mean, just because we have an ordinance that says $1,000 a day, we can't enforce that. If he says guilty, isn't it the magistrate's job to say whether it is a full $1,000 or whether it's a part of that or something? He ruled that at the meeting. I was there. I was at the hearing. Now it's your obligation to enforce it. Has it been enforced by the township? That's the answer I want. No, I'm going further up you know tomorrow morning. I guarantee you, I'll take you down again. And that's what you got to do every time. You can't get an answer here. Dave, now number two. Dave, we have a new solicitor who doesn't know about this. Show. Elizabeth, it has nothing to do with the solicitor. That is over with. That is in the magistrate's hands. He ordered the fine at the hearing. If he didn't appeal within 30 days, we're at 63 days now. It should be two months of fines. That's, we don't disagree with you, but we can't make up a fine. That's the part that I think... It's in know. your ordinance. It was pulled out in the book at the hearing. I know. Dave, listen for a second. We can say it's $1,000 a day, but if we go to the magistrate and he says he owes 50 cents, that's what we have to abide by. He Can you hear? The magistrate ordered $1,000 a day. I was at the hearing. Don't yell. That's why you have to yell because you don't understand. You have to talk civil. Dave, it's not, it's not worth getting your blood pressure for that. But, but you're acting goofy. I was at the hearing. He ordered $1,000 a day right out of the book. We all told you. I know you don't want to hear it. We told you that last week also. You didn't tell me that last week, Tom, because I'm getting a copy of the minutes tomorrow. <laughs> and I'll play it and I'll bring it here next month. I was at the meeting. I know what I heard. You said there was a second thing, too. What? Yeah, the second thing was the garbage was late today. <laughs> late picking up. I realized the weather and that. And they came and picked up this morning. 
they didn't empty two of the cans that had ash in they said it was frozen I went out right after they were still down the out it was not frozen I watched them go up in the yard and take concrete this big carry it down and put it in the truck they had two guys on the truck I called Teresa she says the stuff was frozen I said Teresa they rode back up the alley, looked at the cans, never got out of the truck. It was not frozen. I went out, dumped it in plastic bags, went down, got my truck, put it in my truck, and brought it down here and threw it in the dumpster. You can go out and look at the end dumpster. It was not frozen. You said this no other company bid on the garbage? That's what the one to was correct, just the one. 